What's going on Daytona fans? In this video, we are going to talk about this 3D model of a braking system. And I'm going to show you why this is the most common model and also not good enough for our Mopars. All right, so this brake system is not exclusive to our Mopars. This brake system is actually the most common braking system you'll find in our modern cars today. So if we take a look at the disc, uh, generally they don't come drilled. It just comes as a solid disc, but the 3D model uh, had the drilled uh, drilled holes in it, so we're just going to work with that, but let's pretend the holes aren't there. So this is the most common braking system because it is the cheapest to make. Now it is adequate for a lot of vehicles, but it's not adequate for our Mopars because our Mopars weigh a lot. Uh, the, this system tends to come up a little bit short. A good question to ask yourself is what's the difference between a Charger RT going 70 miles an hour and a Charger 392 going 70 miles an hour? Not too much when it comes to stopping, right? They're just about the same weight. The, uh, the SRT is, is a little bit heavier, but I don't think the RT deserves a braking system like this. The RT is about 4,200 pounds and the 392 is, I believe, almost 4,500 pounds. So about a 250 pound difference, uh, you know, I, I just don't think these work. Why should the 392s get a six piston or four piston Brembos while the RT gets this uh, basic one piston? you basic. I don't agree to it, but that's also the reason why I picked up my big brake kit. Let's go Daytona fans. Because I need more stopping power. I believe that we deserve a little bit better uh, when it comes to braking. Whether Dodge thinks so or not, that's relevant. So what makes this one piston? Well, I'm going to take off the disc just for a moment, remove the brake pads, and show you. So in a Brembo type setup, you're going to have pistons on one side, pistons on the other. So there may be two or three on one side and two or three on the other side. That's what gives it the four or six, ten, uh, six piston brakes. And when braking happens with those Brembos, they both, the pistons come out. So it squeezes together like this. So you have the disc here and when braking happens, it squeezes together like that. Now, this particular brake design, you see this little orange piston here. That's one big piston. And that's what stops our RTs, at least the base ones. So what's happening instead of doing this, it's doing this. So this piston is just moving forward to, you know, imagine a, a brake pad here and a brake pad here. It's just moving one direction to stop the disc from spinning instead of moving both directions. And therefore you have inferior braking. Although the piston is bigger, it doesn't mean you stop better. So if you think about it, what's better? One way direction or two way direction? Obviously, the two-way direction is going to provide you with more stopping power. But the RTs don't come with that, and that's why I think I need to upgrade my brakes. It is just an inferior system for a modern world. Now, maybe for lighter cars like a Honda Civic or, or even a, a Toyota Camry, that's adequate. But our cars, it's, it's just too heavy. You know, it, it, not even thinking about how much horsepower uh, these things have, just coming to a stop is very important. Stopping fast is just as important as going fast. I would even go as far as to say that stopping fast is more important than going fast. Because again, I, I was, I'll put up the uh, brake check-in video. If I had bigger brakes, I may not have had to swerve into the other lane. And I was just lucky enough that construction was going on that provided me with the other lane so I knew nobody would come to my right side and hit me or I would hit them. And if you're wondering where this 3D print came from, I didn't print it myself. I don't have a 3D printer, but Beth's brother, Nick, does. He was so kind to help me and use his materials to make this model for me to give you this video. And I'll leave his channel in the link in the description below. He prints a lot of cool stuff and he shows you a great how-to. He does videos very, very well. So I would suggest checking him out 
and giving him a subscribe if you like his stuff. Or if you like 3D printing, that's, that's the place to go. Daytona fans, now that you know how the RT system works and the SRT system works, you can make a judgment for yourself. What do you think is better? A one piston going this way or multiple pistons going this way to stop a disc and your car? In my opinion, I made the right choice in picking up a big brake kit. And once I get that installed, hopefully I can try to do some testing. You know, I'll try to uh, test the stop RT brakes before I do the big brake kit. And then I'll do the big brake kit and see if there's a stopping distance uh, difference. And I know there will be, I just don't know how much of a distance the, it will be. If you're interested in seeing more 3D printed parts, let me know in the description below. I'll try to get some more printed out for you guys if you're interested. Uh, I can definitely explain how one part works and how another part works or how one mod part is better than the other and we'll go from there. I think it'll be a lot of fun to really break down our automotive systems. A lot of times we just mod for the sake of modding or we mod because it, it's supposed to be better, but that's not always the case. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you found this educational and entertaining at the same time. I will see you all in the next one. Peace.